Hello everyone! For this video I'm planning to make a cantilever structure using craft sticks. The cantilever will be about 1 meter or 39 inches long. I modeled these geometries in a structural analysis software to better understand how cantilever trusses work. From the reactions, you can see that the back span will be in uplift, which means that it will be lifted off the ground. I will make this a structure on the floor since my table is taken by my new keyboard. It really deserves the new spot. I start by making the top cord. I will then add some of the vertical members, then the bottom cord, followed by the remainder of the vertical members, and finally the diagonal elements. I will then connect the two frames together and add the plan bracings for the top and bottom cords. Now it is time to stiffen up some of the members that will have higher axial compression forces. I will also stiffen up some of the members in tension. My goal here is not to achieve a very strong cantilever, but to see how this structure behaves. At this point I realized that making this on the floor was a bad idea. Not only I made a mess on the floor, but hurt my back too. I guess this is why tables were invented in the first place. This cantilever is pretty long and will not be stable without a counterweight at the back span. I will use some ratchet straps to hold down the structure. As a quick test, I applied the load at the end of the cantilever and noticed that four of the vertical members in the back span are moving sideways, which was an indication of compression load trying to buckle the elements. So I stiffened up these four members to enhance their capacity. As you can see, one of the bottom cord members failed quickly. From the axial load diagram, this member had the maximum compressive load in the structure. I also noticed that there is a lean on the structure, which might have been due to an eccentric loading. As a quick test, I replaced the failed member and added four cross bracing inside the structure to see if the lean would go away, 
and if the load capacity or failing member would be different this time. The cantilever failed at the same location and with the same load as before but without a lean this time. In a future video, I will probably make a cantilever that can have a failure in an element with tension. So thank you for watching and until the next video, have a great day or night.